Hello everyone, welcome to our new video that is related to human defense system. So, have you ever heard about the word notobiotics? It is a Greek term where notos mean noun and biota means flora and fauna of any region. The term notobiotic refers to any environment or animal which is either exanic, that means free of germs, or in which all identities or all type of microorganism is known. So here we learn three new terms that is notos means known, biota means flora or fauna, and exanic that means germ free. So notobiotic can either be germ free or environment that has non microbiota. Now let's come to the example of notobiota. Do you know that human fetus is actually notobiotic? The human fetus that is present in uterus is normally germ-free, so you can call it exanic or as you know there is no microbiota in the fetus, so you can also call it notobiotic. After the birth of a baby, normal human microbiota starts developing within first two weeks of a baby life. And then the number of these microorganisms keep on increasing with time. These microorganisms, which we call normal microbiota, lives with human by creating symbiotic relationship. The symbiotic relationship means the relationship where both par partner means the human and microbes get benefits from each other. So up till now we have learned that what is notobiotic, what is exanic, and what is the example of notobiotic or germ-free animal. Now let's see how much research progress has been done to create notobiotic colony of animals. Regarding the creation of notobiotics, the first suggestion was given by Louis Pasteur. He suggested that there is no, no possibility for animals to live without microorganism. After that, from 1899 to 1908, many attempts were made to grow germ-free chickens, but all attempts were failed. All the birds died within few months. When scientists tried to find out the reason, it was observed that many intestinal bacteria were important for birds that were absent. These bacteria provide adequate nutrition to the bird, that's why these birds couldn't survive without these bacteria. In 1912, scientists got succeeded in growing a healthy, germ-free bird when they were provided an adequate diet. So that was the first time when a notobiotic animal was created. The growth of notobiotic organism was one of the great advancements in research and it provides a good experimental system to study the interaction between animals and any specific microorganism. Now we see how germ-free colonies of chickens were established. The establishment of germ-free chicken is much easier as compared to other mammals and other animals. Since chick hatches from an egg, therefore the egg is first sterilized with a germicide and then placed inside a sterile isolator. When a chick hatches, it is already sterile, means it is already free of microorganisms and able to feed by itself. However, it is important to make sure that chicken colony is germ-free and for this purpose we keep doing some biological examinations. So what are these biological examinations? We need to check either the exhaust air and the waste material that is coming out from the cage is germ-free or not. The exhaust-free and waste material must be free of any type of microorganism and that will make it sure that the animal is notobiotic. Now we see how we can establish a germ-free colony of mammal. 
or mammals like rats, mice, hamster, rabbits, and monkeys, growth of germ-free colony is not as simple as it was in birds. In mammals, baby is born from a pregnant female through a caesarean section under aseptic condition, means the condition in which microorganisms are absent. These newborn animals are then transferred to other sterile isolators where all the coming air and food must be sterilized, means germ-free. After the establishment of a germ-free animal, the germ-free colony can be maintained by normal mating between two germ-free parents. In this case, the parents will be germ-free, so the offspring will also remain germ-free during the birth. So, up till now we have learned that what is notobiotic, what is exanic, how to establish germ-free bird, and how to establish germ-free mammal. Now we see are these germ-free animals are normal or not. If you look at these germ-free animal anatomically means structurally, and physiologically means functionally, then we will see that these animals are not normal like others. They will have a poorly developed lymphoid tissue, the tissue that plays an important role in immune system. Their intestine is also thin-walled and they have enlarged cecum. Cecum is the part of large intestine. Also, the antibodies present in these animals are very low. Now we see how these germ-free animals react into pathogens. Germ-free animals are very weak to resist the attack of pathogens because of the absence of germ-free microorganisms. Pathogenic microbes can easily establish themselves in host animal. Even if the number of pathogens is very low, Still, these can cause infection because they do not face any type of resistance in host. However, surprisingly, the germ-free animals are completely resistant to Antamoeba histolytica that cause the disease amoebic dysentery. Antamoeba histolytica cannot cause disease on a germ-free animal because it feeds on bacteria. Since there is no bacteria present in animal host, therefore E. histolytica cannot find its food and unable to survive. Another interesting thing that scientists found was the absence of dental caries and plague in a germ-free animal because plague formation requires the presence of bacteria. Interestingly, if we inoculate cariogenic microbe, means the microbe that cause cavity with high sucrose diet, then it will develop a cavity. Streptococci gordini is one of the main example of cariogenic microbe. So, in this lecture, we have studied that what is notobiotic, how germ-free bird and germ-free mammal can be developed, and how these germ-free animals are different from normal animals. That was all about notobiotic animals. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for more videos.